Hey guys and welcome to episode 5 of the Atletico Madrid Takeover. Today we take on Real Madrid, Barcelona, Slavia Prague and Getafe. Or Getaf. Um, the first two games are going to be ridiculously hard. Um, obviously, as you can see, we've not had a great start to the season at all. You know, we've slipped up to some smaller teams. Last episode, you know, we got a couple of draws, which, you know, against team Leipzig is a hard game. But Levante, we need to be winning. Um, the discipline's been poor so far. We've had so many sending offs. It's already not looking positive. But we're going to try and turn it around um, and go from there, really. Obviously, the first game we have, I think, is it both home? No. Real Madrid is home. Barcelona's away. So Real Madrid, are, in my opinion, are better than Barcelona. Um, they've got the best squad anyway. And um, oh, Lodi's actually happy to stay now, which is good. But... These games, realistically, between the both of them, I think it's reasonable to ask for a point. You know, anything past that is going to be quite difficult, I'm going to be honest. So this is the team we're going to be playing against Real Madrid. We've got Oblak, Montoya, Felipe, Savic, Lodi, Condogbia, Lorente, Koke, Correa, Griezmann and Felix up top. Um, this is the bench we have. Obviously, we've got a lot of people here. Herrera is actually... Travelling to the Mexico squad, Carrasco's injured. So this is the team we're going to have. We are going to stick with the same formation, despite the results not being ideal. We can't switch every time, you know, we don't think it's going right. I switched from the 4-4-2, just because I think that we've got so many midfielders. It's pretty much the only reason I switched. Um, but we're going to see how we do against a team like Real Madrid. I mean, it's by far the biggest challenge we've had this season. So it could be ugly. I'm going to see what formation they're playing. Um... They're playing with quite a similar formation, actually, as we get off to a start here. And we actually, I don't know if he's onside. That could be a massive goal. It's been awarded. So we're 1-0 up inside of four minutes. Um, we are at home, so we do have the advantage. I'm going to praise him for that because, obviously, you know, you don't expect that all the time. But if we can... I mean, we're literally 18 minutes in, and the way that we've been defending is quite, you know... There you go. We've already lost the ball. If we could get a result here, even a point would be massive. Because, you know, we've been we've been messing up to a, a lot of smaller teams. Okay. I don't want to score the one goal and then completely drop off because it's what we have been doing. And as I said last episode, one of the issues we've got is we can't seem to go two goals up. That's the issue. But there is a, obviously, you know, I mean, quite a great effort. There is that side of this game, which obviously is a derby. So, I mean, maybe the players will turn up for this one big time. But... As you can see, Barcelona are actually, you know, top of the league. Not clean sailing. A lot of teams are on, a couple of teams are on 16 points. But Real Madrid, I think, are actually in eighth, I believe. So we can get a second goal. That would be ideal. Where are Real Madrid? Seventh. Um, This would help us if we can get a point. You know, if we can win here, it would be a massive result for sure. Just going to look at the subs here. Just have a quick look. Um, We have got Condogbia. We've got, okay, so we I mean, we can bring on subs, but... Oh, Correa is really tired, actually. We're going to get Lamar on. We'll, we'll get Lamar on. We'll keep it like that. Because we have been playing quite well. So I don't want to change too many people. And just going to tell him to focus a little bit. Griezmann's looking quite tired on that left as well. And so is Lorente. Um, we're going to keep it as it is for the moment. We are going to tell him just to introduce a little bit of time wasting into the game. Because, you know... That definitely does help. Great challenge. Just need to keep it going. There we go. Oh, so unlucky. Felix again. Got to be finishing him. It's the issue I had with him last last time. And, oh, that was another chance there. Have we got any wingers we can bring on? I'm not sure. Um, yes, because we, we have um, got Kuna we can actually bring on. I will bring on Kuna. <coughs> Sorry, I will bring on Kuna. And also I'm going to bring on Rodrigo de Paul. Because Lorente is shattered. It's a great ball. Oh, it's unlucky. It's unlucky. Honestly, if we can get a result here, even a 1 0 win, I'll be more than happy with. But ideally, we can get a second goal because it's never secure. It's never secure. And that should be a penalty. It's inside the box. Okay, well, I hope we do seal this out now. 
And we do. A 1-0 win. I mean, it is at home, but against Real Madrid, I did not go into the game thinking we were going to come out and win that game, to be honest. Wow, what a performance. And a performance that I didn't think we were going to get. Um, absolutely massive, that is. So now we go in against Barcelona with a bit more confidence, to be honest. Um, obviously, we are away, so it's going to be difficult. But even if, I don't want to say it, but even if we do lose to Barcelona, at least we've got three points from Real Madrid. So they're by far our toughest two games of the season in the league. So I'm going to sim a little bit off the video because it is 13 days. And then I'll get back to you once we've got the team ready for Barcelona. And hopefully we can get something from that game too. So this is going to be the team against Barcelona. Um, Was is going to have to come in at right back just because Montoya has picked up an injury and he can't start. Same with Koke. He's got food poisoning and Carrasco can come on probably for like a maximum of 60 minutes. So he'll probably come on at half time if needed. So we're going to go with Oblak, Was, Jimenez, Hermoso, Lodi, Condogbia, Herrera, Lorente, Carrera, Lamar and Jao Felix up top. Now Griezmann is also, where's this one, ineligible because obviously, you know, old club and all. So we can't play Griezmann. Suarez can play, but he's not going to start. But we have got options to bring off, you know, bring on, sorry, if needed. But it's still a strong team. Um, I've got Herrera in that box-to-box -box midfielder because, you know, is an absolute work engine in that midfield. So hopefully, I mean, it'd be ambitious to say, can we get six points against Barca and Real Madrid? But if we can ideally get four points, so a point in this game, we are obviously away and their formation is matching us, basically. Um, so it will be interesting to watch. Obviously, they've got such a good team as well. If we look at it, in my opinion, it's not as good as Real Madrid's, but still a very good team. Got to respect it. But we're still in it. I mean, they are going to dominate the ball. That's what they base their game style off, right? So, De Jong shouldn't be the quickest, and he isn't. We're caught up with him. Was plays it into Carrera, into Jimenez. Great ball over to Felix. He's really got to finish them, you know. He's, he's got all the potential, but he just doesn't seem to finish him, and it's very annoying. We've got to be careful. Okay, another great ball. Finishes that one. Jao Felix. So we're 1-0 up away, 30 minutes in. And Herrera, I really am gutted his going because, well, I mean, he's played two great balls over now and he just works so hard for the team. He's, he's a great player to have. As we go down this left-hand side, Lamar has another great ball into Felix and it's two. Are we seeing a different Felix here? I mean... When I looked at his stats in the previous episode, he's got like 15 finishing. He should pretty much be up there with some of the best. The talents there, he's worth an absolute fortune. Um, hopefully we can get the best out with him because I kind of... Please don't be Felix. Herrera. Not who I wanted either, really. But we can actually bring on Koke for him. Hopefully it's nothing serious. But no, I was trying to build this this thing around Felix because obviously he was their main sign and he's not really done much in real life. So I'm trying to come in and work with him. Um, hopefully we can get somewhere. If we actually, you know, we've gone up the table a lot here and we can get a result. Obviously the job's not done. We are actually going to put in some time waste in here because, you, you know, you can never not do it quick enough. <laughs> Against a team like Barcelona, they get one, they can easily get two. But we'll try and carry on. We go down this left-hand side again. Lodi, Kondogbia. We're spreading the ball around really well, to be fair. And that's great. It's, oh, okay, it's unlucky. We're going to make a couple more subs here. Felix looks quite tired. Um, we're going to bring on um, Luis Suarez. Nearly got the wrong Suarez then. And also we're going to take off Lodi because he's on a booking. And we don't want him getting suspended. But we're just going to try and calm this down. And if we can get a clean sheet here, this is this is something because... I'm going to show you the results, and we are looking very likely to get the win here. I'm going to give him a praise. This could be a good turnaround here. I mean, that is massive for us. We've just played two of the hardest teams in the division, and we've come out with six points. And that is unreal. If we look at it here, we'll go to the schedule. Look at the results we've had. These two here are by far the most difficult, and we've come out. Granted, they've not been pastings. Like, this game here was actually quite close. But still, two wins against Real Madrid and Barcelona. Back-to-back -back games as well. It's fantastic. And now we've got we've still got plenty of time. So we're going to try and get Prague in. 
and Getafe and possibly Elche if we've got time. Um, these games here would now be a little bit demoralising if we lose because obviously we've got an opportunity to... Oh, that's really not good. We'll let him... Three to four weeks, we'll let him, you know, carry on. But we've got a chance now to... Well, we've got like a, what, a one, two, three, four, five... We should have five games here where I'd say the wins are definitely in our favour before, you know, it gets difficult again. Um... And I'm really impressed how they played there. I did not think we were going to be getting six points at all. Um, and we now go in against Slavia Prague, who obviously we do need to beat because we've not been doing great in the Champions League. But after after the games we've just played, I don't know how we... how I mean, how can we not go and... If we lose against Slavia Prague, I don't understand because, you know, we've been absolutely dominant there. Um, I will just carry on with the live come here because we are actually basically at the game. Um, it's now coming up and we can pick the team together. Um, we've got a three game gap in between. So <clears throat> I'm going to try and play. I'm going to play full strength. I have to because it's a must win game. Um, so let's just have a little look. So Herrera can't. We'll play to Paul. Lorente is going to have to play again. Um, I'm going to keep the wingers as they are. Keep Felix because I mean, or actually Griezmann can get involved now, can't he? Put him back on the bench and also get put Felipe on the bench. So we're going to swap out. We'll get Felipe on. We'll actually get Savic on as well, and he can have a game. Was is going to have to play again. And Dogby is going to have to play again. And I tell you what, we'll keep it like that, and we'll give Felix opportunity to carry on his goal scoring, and we will let Griezmann come on. Actually, we'll start Griezmann. We'll start Griezmann. And then we can always bring on Lamar. I've got Suarez to bring on as well. Yeah, we've got options to bring on. Herrera, have I got him on? Okay, that's my fault. Um, let me remove him. I need to remember how to first. Why do I always forget how to do this? Oh, not that. Remove. don't know why I always forget. I don't know how I forgot that. Was is going to have to start, even though he's not got match fitness. I mean... We seem to have signed a right back and he's more injury prone than anything. He literally doesn't play, which is a shame. Um, but hopefully we can come here and actually get a really good result. What formation are they playing? Pretty basic, 4-2-3-1. Um, like I said, this is a must-win game. It might be like an easy team, but if we don't win this, the groups, there's not a chance. You know, not at all. This is great play again. Just linking up very well. Ball over the top. And Joe Felix, you know, an opportunity you would have thought he would have taken. I mean, he was he wasn't clinic he was kind of clinical against Barcelona in some ways. He had a couple of chances, messed up one. But you know, we need to get him firing because his potential is through the roof. And the amount of money they spent on him, you're expecting sort of thirty goals a season. You know, it's what you need to get from him. He's the main man in the team. But this game obviously is it's got off to a bit of a slow start, I'm not gonna lie. Obviously, we are the away team, so they should have the upper hand in that sense, but not many highlights. And I've got to put some emergency into the boys here because obviously they, they have got to understand that we do need to get a goal here um, because we can't afford just to get points in the Champions League group. It's really not good enough. So I will make subs when we get into sort of like the 60th minute because you can't just, you know, let things slide like this right so we are going to bring on some subs here we are going to bring on we're going to bring we're actually going to make a double winger change just for the energy we're going to keep condogbia on even though he's a bit tired um and we're going to rely on felix to prove that he can get this goal and hopefully it doesn't come back to bite me we're going to tell him to be a bit more expressive as well because at the moment i mean we are I mean, to be fair, Leipzig as well, but hopefully we can get a goal. It'll be a bit more comfortable than just a point. It really would. I hope we can. It's great play, to be fair. And we needed that to go in. We really did. I'm going to make one last sub, and we're going to see if we can just get a bit of energy going on there. We might actually... Hmm. Have I got a... I have. Okay. We're going to move to pull down here, even though it's not his most favoured position. I want to get Koke on in that um, box to box. I actually want to do that. Get Koke in his favoured centre mid role. Little team talk. And you know, hopefully we can get a late minute winner here. 
Great play down the... Here we go. Here we go. Kondogbia. Through Lamar. It's got to go in. The chances have to go in. Little corner. Get it back in. Come on, boys. Fight for it. We've absolutely dominated the stats. We really have. Um, no telling to run at the defence. We've really got to go for this now. Oh, he's not come off the bar. We need to press him. I don't know what a point... A point is really not good enough. And I'd hope we've just not gone to attack and then it comes to bite us. They've had enough... Oh, he's through Felix. He's offside, isn't he? Yeah, he's off... Miles offside. I don't know why I thought he wasn't. This is going to be the last chance. He's offside again. Please, no, not one highlight again. We need to win this ball back. Is he going to get sent? No, okay. Sometimes they do give that. Keeping these... He's very far off his line. I don't know if we're going to have time for one last chance. If it if we do, it's going to be dramatic and we lost it. It's full time. Nil nil. I mean, if you look at the stats, we absolutely dominated him. But in terms of the groups, that's really not good. I mean, we could have done with three points there because I mean it's now pretty anyone's it's anyone's position now to go through. And I don't know how Leipzig actually done. Um they lost three one. But Games like that, you have to win in the Champions League. In every group, you have that one team you know you can beat. And in our case, that is the team that we can beat. And the fact we haven't is a bit disappointing. Obviously, I can't be too annoyed with the team recently because we just beat Real Madrid, we beat Barcelona. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the team for Getafe and I'll come back to you. We've got a little bit of a... We've got two days break, so we've got a bit of time to regain fitness and I'll come back to you with the confirmed team. So we're now going into sort of the tactical meeting. We're going to see, you know, play about with what they recommend. I really want to keep Felix on the pitch because I do think he can start firing goals in. Um, Suarez also, you know, hasn't really been doing much for me. So I've not got a lot of trust in him. I am going to get Jimenez back in the team and I'm going to stick with Wasset right back. Lorente, I do prefer him being in that box to box, but he seems comfortable in that ball winning midfielder role. So I'm going to keep him there because I think Herrera is still injured. And also Kondogbia has played a lot of football this season. So a little rest of him won't hurt. Um, I might actually give Lamar a start, keep Correa on there, Felix. So we've got Griezmann and Suarez to bring on. So it's two. Well, I've got more faith bringing on Griezmann and Suarez, but we should have two good finishes on the bench nevertheless. Now, if we win this game, it'll actually be three games on the bounce of one in the um, BBVA in the Spanish division, which is, well, for us, considering the start of the season, a massive result. And that nearly was the perfect start. Three minutes in, they're playing obviously the 4 2 3 1, a very basic but commonly used formation. And hopefully, if we win this, it could. We've got a very good chance of being pushed into the sixth, fifth, or fourth place, depending on results and how they go. And like I said, the, the goal for the first season, realistically, is top four. I mean, I would say challenge for the title, but at such a broad scale. Like, I mean, because there's two very good teams we're challenging against. And I think top four first season is reasonable. Maybe a little domestic trophy would be nice as well. Definitely do not want to get grouped in Champions League, which is why I was so frustrated we drew. We've drawn the last two games in there. But, you know, recent performances in this league have been very good. As we're playing it about lovely here. It's good, good passing, but we're not doing anything with it. Okay, yeah, we are. Correa, lovely goal. So we're 1-0 up against Kataf And, you know, a team that we should be beating. But, as you've seen in previous episodes, never an easy game in this division. Never an easy game. And we have now got a corner just for our time. It'd be nice to get one here. Core cool. Coke was close to it, but overall a great half. Um, I'm delighted with the performance. Um, um, no queries of it to be fair. I mean, we've limited them to basically nothing. We've dominated the ball. You can't really complain. I'm going to praise them, and around the 70th minute, I'm going to bring in a bit of time wasting just to slow the game down a little bit, and you know, just do what we do best, and hopefully seal onto some wins. I'm going to introduce it now, actually. Um, and also look to bring on a couple of subs. I am going to take off Felix and put on Griezmann. And also, I might bring on... We've got two bookings in the fullback positions here. I'm going to bring on Montoya as well. Because Was wasn't fully match fit to start. 
Um, so he could do the coming off. And hopefully, I think we've got one more sub, I think. Because of the Rente. We do. We'll bring on Condogbia. Just to seal this out. And hopefully we can. Oh, that's unlucky. Good effort from Griezmann from that distance. Hopefully we can just, you know, a bit of time wasting here. This is this is like, what, it's lovely, you know, it's lovely, it's lovely. It's what we want to see. And we've limited them to next to nothing this game. And again, it's a 1-0. Is it really too convincing? No. But it's three points in the bag and we move on. Simple as that. And I tell you what, since we're on a good run, little treat, I'll add another game into the episode because... We have now got LJ, and it's not too far away. It's only three days, so we'll play that, and then that could be... Well, I mean, if we win that, there'll be four in the league that are undefeated. So, all wins as well. So, a very good opportunity. Yeah, for anyone that hasn't got these um, player faces, I do recommend you get them. Obviously, you can literally... Um, they're all free. It's nothing like special, special. You can just go on to literally anyone's, and if you look at this, like... You won't have any of these faces by default. Um, some players have got them, I think. Some haven't. But I recommend you do get the player faces. They're free, easy to do. And it makes the game just a little bit more realistic. Um, I actually quite like that team. I'm going to actually use that. I said these suggested squads don't use all the time because they can be wrong. But sometimes you look at them and you're like, do you know what? It's actually quite a good squad. Um, I will have a look for myself, though. Because I don't trust it all the time. Atletico Madrid Felipe got into the team of the week, which is good to see. Let's just have a little look. So, no. Okay, yes, something was wrong. Suarez is not going on the wing. We we're actually going to give Lamar the game. Herrera is still injured, so this is going to be the midfield. We're going to do that, actually. Um, happy with that. Hermoso, I'm not. I'm going to actually play Rinaldo. Um, Rinaldo? I think that's how you say it. Felipe Savic and Montoya Oblak. Looks good to me. Like I said, next season as well in that midfield, we're also going to have Saul or Saul back from Chelsea because um, I don't think there's a buy clause in there. And if he's been playing anything like he has in real life, but he hasn't been playing, they're not going to buy him. So hopefully we get him back as well. And the big question is, can we seal this episode out with four wins in four? What is going on there? It's the first time he's gone over to the monitor in the entire save. Is it going to go in our favour? disallowed that would have been a very good start but obviously if we win this it will be four in four in this league and that was nearly an instant reply to a disallowed goal and we're all over them these are one of the weaker sides in the division so hopefully we can get some goals against these this is good this is good God, what a strike from Koke! wonderful i've been trying to see what their formation is this whole time Okay, a lot of teams play that. I think it's because they're so balanced. Um, I like the formation I'm playing just because we need a lot of midfielders because we've got so many and they're all really good. But this has been good so far. So it can dog behind to Felipe. We're really good in the wings and bringing it inside. We are good at that, to be fair. And that's two. And like I said, this could be a long day at the office for Elche because they are a team which we should be beaten and comfortably, not just by a small amount. That was very risky from Oblak. Oblak's having a bit of a mare. You get the ball away. Wow, that was very strange from Oblak. Usually he's um, very, well, hardly any errors in his game. But if you, look, if you look at this table now, it's a bit all over the shop. Since we caused the upsets at Real and Barca, you've got, is that Real? Yeah, um, Real, his, I can't even say it. Um, no, it is. The guy for Kier plays for. Um, Villarreal are up there now. Valencia, Real Madrid. And if we carry on, I mean, I'm just, it's nuts in one episode. We're actually going to carry on with the same team. It's actually nuts in one episode how we've gone from where we were to instantly climbing up the table. Just for, I mean, I don't know how we won them two games. It was incredible. And then obviously the one draw is a bit annoying, but is what it is. But we don't want to let this, you know, start slipping away. We're going to carry on with the performance. As we are by the looks of it. And that is beautiful from Griezmann. I also want to say that if it does look like glitchy, it's not actually my OBS that's doing that because it's actually sort of lagging on my actual gameplay as well. And I'm not getting any frames dropped in my OBS. So I don't actually know why it's doing that. I will look into it. But I tried to have a look at it before I recorded this and I've got no idea why it's doing it. Um, I'll, I will have a look though because I don't want it to do it with the whole, you know, the whole um, series. 
So we're going to bring on Carrasco as well. Koke is looking very tired. So we are going to bring on... We'll bring on Lorente as well. Get some fresh legs in midfield. And we're going to praise them because they've been playing very well. 3-0. And we're actually starting to collect clean sheets now as well, which it... Are we? Okay, here we go. Carrasco. This is better. Go on, try, try and go again. Unlucky, unlucky. This is really when to end now. Oh, there we go. It's forward Montoya with a goal, popping up from right back. And that is a very dominant performance. Okay. Clean sheet might not be intact. It is. Well done, Old Black. That's what we need. A few clean sheets. And we're actually going again. Felix holding it up. He's through again. No options, really. That's an option. And that is a strike. The fullbacks have been on fire this game. 5-0. Granted, against a side that we should be doing this against, really. But we haven't been, so it's just a big shock. Um, obviously, the players have been adapted to this formation a bit better now one thing i will say is i'm awful at remembering to do this and i do make them in advance so if i do forget i do apologize but i have actually been using hasn't actually even saved but i've been using these pre-made um training schedules i will try and remember to link the youtube video i got them off um i thought they were being used but they are actually very good because for me, I've not got that part of the game yet of how to create your own training schedules. I don't fully understand it. So there are a lot of good pre-made ones. And this is the one I like. You've got pre-season, the weeks where you've got one game, two games. It's just a really good balance. And it does help your players a lot. And as you can see, we are now familiar very well with this as well. So hopefully we can push forward to this season and, you know, carry on. Because it's looking a lot better here. This episode, we've played, well... One, two, three, four. We played five games and we've not lost one and we've won four. So it's perfect. Um, well, not perfect. More or less perfect. And hopefully we can push on and carry on because we now sat in fifth place. Basically, a great opportunity to break into the top four. We're pretty much level points. The goal difference, we're actually... Uh, hang on. Am I might be being mad here? A goal difference... Is I don't, I don't know but we are pretty much breaking into that top four as well so that is a great episode guys hope you have enjoyed this if you have leave a like on the video drop a, com a comment sorry on it below please do subscribe and turn on notifications as these are being uploaded daily as well as other content as well there are going to be a few reset videos coming out as well but that game for anyone that plays it understands how long it takes to record and actually level up an account so for now, it's going to be primarily dominated by Football Manager content. And if you want to see me get maybe two saves going at the same time going, so <clears throat> maybe this one and another one, just let me know the team you want me to do it with. And I'll see you guys in the next one.